Okay, the first thing I wanted to note was the burner on the right, I've closed off the primary air completely. The burner on the left, it's wide open. And so I'm going to check the uh, heat exchanger tubes for each one of these for the percentages and will also give you a percent uh, efficiency. That's a standing, um, it's an operating efficiency. It's not sear or anything like that. It's just steady state uh, efficiency. And it's not, you know, these, these tools do a little bit of fudge factor anyway, so you can't say too much about it. It's not, I don't say it's inaccurate, it's just not that great. Okay, the first one, I've got the probe into the burner that has the primary air shut off. Now we've let it settle out, and that's eh, pretty, pretty close to what it's probably going to be. Let me go over what these things mean on this uh, meter. Okay, the oxygen is 3.8 percent. Below that, on the left, you've got the stack temperature, which is about 570. Okay, excess air is 19 percent. Now, excess air is more air than is needed for combustion, in ideal sense. In an ideal sense. So uh, the uh, excess air, well, it's showing around 20% now. Now we can toggle and we can get the CO2, it's 9.8, okay? And we can also go down here to this bottom, I'm not showing you this, but uh, which one I'm hitting or anything, but it's giving you an idea of what the efficiency is of the furnace. Now, I've got it in non-condensing. I'm 74% efficient. Okay, let's take a look at the other tube with the primary air wide open. Okay, now I'm in the other one, wide open, primary air. Okay, my CO2 is 7.8, and I'm going to toggle that to O2, 6.8. Look below, the stack temperature is lower. Now, let me talk about that stack temperature for a minute. Okay, okay if the stack temperature is lower, you'd think, well, that means it's more efficient. Eh, sort of maybe. Not necessarily, because the other tube had a much higher stack temperature, I think it was 570, uh, but had the same heat exchanger that this one has, just a different tube. The only difference is we've got more primary air in this one, so that's going to cool the flame down. So, let's look at some of the rest of the numbers. Okay, uh, Go again over O2, 6.8, CO2, 8. Uh, excess air is running in the low 40s. Actually, that's more like what they uh, recommend for excess air is in the 40s. So there's 40%, 42% more air than is necessary for combustion. Okay. Now, let's go down and look at efficiency. Uh, we'll get to non-condensing and we're at 74 percent. Now, odd, there's exactly the same efficiency as with the closed primary air. Hmm. So what's that mean? Well, it means you could open the primary air all you wanted on this to make sure the combustion was very good and it wouldn't make any difference in its operation. Although it did go down to 73. No, nope, back up 74. So, uh, you can't change the efficiency of these things very much. 
pretty hard to do. Okay, we're going to try another little trick here. This thing's normally three and a half inches of water column. I got it at two and a half inches of water column. So we cut it down. We're going to go ahead and check each one of these uh, tubes again and see if we get a difference. Okay, here we are pretty much settled down in the uh, burner that has very little combustion air, the lowest amount we can get away with. Now, hmm, okay, our O2 is 8.7, our CO2 is 7, uh, stack temperature, hmm, it can go down a heck of a lot, did it? Excess air went way up because I'm moving less gas through there. So there's a lot more excess air. Let's see what the efficiency is. Okay, non-condensing, 71%. Hmm. So my efficiency went down when I underfired the furnace, which the, the thought used to be if I underfired the furnace, I would make it a little more efficient and I'd get better use of the fuel. This doesn't seem to bear that out, does it? Hmm. Let's try the other tube. Okay, again, we're checking the uh, burner that has the wide open primary air. Okay, CO2, 6.5, O2, 9.4, or 9.5. Okay, the stack temperature, wow, stack temperature is way down, isn't it? 474. <laughs> My excess air is 74%. My stack temperature is down. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the efficiency is. Okay, uh, 72%. Hmm. Let's look at the uh, O2 and CO2. CO2 is 6.4, O2 is 9.4. And non-condensing, now I'm showing 71. So even though I reduced the uh, gas flow to the burners, I did not make this furnace more efficient. Actually, probably made it a little less efficient. So uh, the old practice we used to do of under-firing furnaces really doesn't seem to make much difference. It's pretty much the same. So that's just a little trick on using the uh, combustion analyzer uh, to find out whether I can increase my efficiency of the natural draft gas furnace.